Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix theme customization not saving on Shopify. So now, all you need to do is to open your web browser, either it was Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox or Microsoft Edge or any web browser that you are using. After that, you will need just to search for Shopify. So basically, you enter to Shopify and you click on the first link. Make sure that it is Shopify.com. After that, you will need to have an account. So basically, you will need just to click on sign up now. And after signing up now, you will have to uh, answer these questions or you can skip the questions one by one or you can just skip all. After this, you will select your region and or country and then you will need to create your Shopify account. So you can either connect with those identifiants or these accounts or you can just uh, continue the signing up with your email so in my case i'm just going to continue with the google account and i'm going to click on my account and i will need just to uh, wait until my account will be created automatically with the google account and after that i will have my account created and basically in this case it will log in uh, log me directly and automatically in some case you will need just to log in manually so after you log into your account you will need just to follow these simple steps so basically here is an article on the shopify community center and this is how you can solve this problem so all you can uh, you can do is to go to your code editor of uh, the teams and then we need just to go to config and the setting data json so basically we are going to our file and then we need just to go to our uh, code editor so now we need just here in the code edit code so click on the three points action and here we are just going to edit the code so we can go to the code editor after that what we need just to search for our json file which is uh, the settings data JSONs. So now we are just going to the config uh, uh, config folder and then go to settings data JSON. And now we will need just to uh, do any editing. So as you can see, you will need just to make a small change to the page. For example, try just to change the text in the announcements banner or anything. So either we are going to change any text, any things, and then you will need just to click on save and after that we will need to see if there is an error if the, in the file and basically probably you will have an error and then you will need just to ask uh, for the problem or you will need just to see where is the exact problem on the code so basically uh, if you have just located the, the problem you can solve it by uh, verifying your code and make sure that it is correct also you can try to use other tools to uh, verify your code so you can go uh, to the chat gpt and then uh, copy the code and tell him to correct it so you can have a valid code and then you will be able to save your theme on uh, your shopify store so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time